Oh, howdy y'all, grab yourself a drink. It is time for some Path of Exile discussion. This is episode two in a series where we are going to be looking at Harvest Crafts. We're not gonna be looking at the super rare, super powerful ones that are expensive like Fracture Crafts or Augment Crafts in this series. Instead, we're gonna look at things you're likely to get yourself plenty of times throughout a league. And this episode is going to focus on the three crafts that do influence shifts. So these all say, randomize the influence types on an influenced normal magic or rare class of items as well as reforging the item with new random modifiers. There are three different classes of items it could be. It could be armor, which is anything that can accept an armor as scrap. It could be weapon or quiver, and it could be jewelry. And the jewelry one is probably the one that players place the most value on. However, all of these have their uses, with weapon and quiver at the time I'm recording this video being the least popular. What's the best use case of these? The first thing to say is that these crafts are not so precious that you need to hoard them and only use them for the best case scenario. So if you get one of these, you can use it on your own gear without feeling too bad about it. Let's say that you're playing a build that wants a Shaper Influence Thicket Bow, and the only thing that seems to drop from you is a Redeemer Influence one when you kill Cyrus one time. Well, at that point, just use an Influence Shift on it if you get one. Don't feel bad about doing it. They're not super expensive. They're like 20 chaos or so in trade. So that's the first thing to say. You can use these without worrying about wasting them. Now, the second thing about these is that they can be used in order to create a couple of items you can't get in any other way and that tends to be one of their best use cases. There's a number of crafting bases that come from special content. Examples of this are the Stygian Vice from Abyss content, the Blizzard Crown from Ritual content, and the Cold Attuned Buckler from Heist content. All of these are really, really good crafting bases, and all of them cannot drop with influence, outside some weird corner cases on the Heist ones. So if you ever wanna get a Conqueror influenced one of those, the best way to do it is usually to apply a Conqueror Exalt to one of those bases. But if you want a Shaper or Elder influenced one, you're gonna either need to use an Awaken Absorb or you're going to need to use these influence shifts. And using the influence shifts tends to be the best way to do it. So if you want an Elder influenced Stygian Vice, the best way to do that is to procure a Stygian Vice, ideally item level 86 plus, then apply a Conqueror Exalt to it. Doesn't matter which one, just use whichever's cheapest. And then you apply influence shifts to it until it is either the desired influence or an, another influence that's too good to roll over. And in the case of Stygian Vices, that is usually Hunter Influence, Elder Influence, and Shaper Influence are the three that are too good to roll over. So if you hit one of those, fantastic. Uh, go and sell it and start again. And if you hit what you're after, also fantastic. You. Now, the other use case for these is creating bases that would otherwise be staggeringly rare. It is possible to get an Elder Influence Bone Helmet from the Uber Elder Encounter. It's just really, really, really rare. So an item level 86 plus bone helmet is not something you're gonna see very often, especially not with any minion related enchants on it. However, item level 86 bone helmets without influence are very common, very cheap to pick up in trade, even with a good influence on them. And so at that point, you can just make them rare. And then once you've made them rare, apply a Conqueror Exalt to them. And so here we've got this bone helmet, which has now been turned into a Redeemer helmet. And then at this point, we're gonna use an influence shift on it. Here we are hoping to see, and we have very low expectations, we're hoping to see this shift into an Elder Influence. Instead we got a Shaper Influence, which is far too good to roll over. Uh, so that is really good. We got a Shaper Influenced Item Level 86 Bone Helmet. It doesn't currently have good mods, and you will normally not have good mods after using an Influence Shift. But this is the start of a crafting process. We have just created a magnificent crafting base that either I can finish later, or someone else might choose to finish off later if I decide not to bother with it. Anyway, that's all I've got on this craft. May your Valorbs have interesting results, and I will see you around.